Hello, it's me, Tom and Friends, Tombo, Tom, Bo, I, I, whatever you want to call me, I'm here. Um, I know I've been dead for like a month, two months, I couldn't tell you, but I'm doing a FNAF Sona, so here, here's the video. Uh, you, you just saw the first draft sketch, um, it was pretty basic, not a whole lot of detailing, um, I just had like the basic things. You know, basic body shape and stuff like that. Um, you'll see in this next part that I'm going into more detail, changing some bits and pieces up. Um, I really didn't know what I wanted to have for this, so I kind of just went on a whim and did whatever I wanted to. I did uh, big floppy ears because I like floppy ears. Uh, I know it's supposed to be a dog, but it's got really big ears. I really don't care. Um, I wanted to change the, cha the tail. I made like a spring tail. Um, I knew I wanted, like, dark purple color and white for contrast. I wanted the fingers and toes white, just just for a little more extra f detail. Um, I added a flower to their chest. Well, two flowers, actually. The big flower, and then there's a little dangly one. Um, and they have that frilly collar. Um, yeah, I kind of wanted to go for, like, a little bit of a clown vibe. Um nothing too extreme because I didn't want it to be scary. Just just the general, you know, fun, giggly vibe. Uh, their name is Doobie the Dancing Dog, so I guess that's it's kind of a clowny name. Nothing too big, but it still fits. Um, I've, I've been... It's just a FNAF Sona. I've had FNAF characters since Five Minutes Freddy's came out. But they never stuck around. I mean, I have one still. His name is Dummy, but I don't really use him. Uh, I don't have the, you know, uh, inspiration for him as much anymore. Uh, but he's still around. I don't draw him a whole lot. Uh, I think this is definitely a step up from Dummy. Dummy wasn't a Sona, but he was still a Five Nights at Freddy's character. But this is this design, this you know concept is a lot better in general. It's a lot cleaner, uh, Dummy was very indecided, and he had a lot of, a lot of weird spots, um, weird ears, weird mouth, you know, he, it wasn't like the best design I've ever made. I could probably redesign him in a video, that'd be cool, um, but I was playing VR chat and I was going through Five Nights at Freddy's avatar worlds and I realized how many people had like their own FNAF characters in there, I was like, wow! That's super cool. I want to make mine. I wanted to make my own, so I did. Um, this is what came of it. If I knew how to 3D model, I would make a VR chat skin for it, but I don't play VR chat enough and I don't think my computer could run Blender. <laughs> so that's my dilemma. But I think this came out pretty pretty nice. Uh, you, now I'm moving on to the coloring. Um, yeah, the coloring. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I just wanted, you know, purple, white, and then some accent colors here and there. I did, uh, pretty bright colors on the cheeks, just for some pop, and then the tail. So it would, it wouldn't be, you know, just purple and white. I wanted, uh, some extra colors in there for the rainbow -y clown vibe. Um, but yeah. So... This is Doobie the Dancing Dog. I don't, I don't really know what else to say. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this actually. Uh, in a second, you're gonna see the original sketch, the secondary sketch, and then the final product.